right, Terry. Get lost. I know why you're mad, but don't take it out on me. Sorry, I forgot. It's not because of you that Chris gave me the sack. You shot yourself. Don't blame the gun. Very clever. Better than being stupid. Like me, you mean? Well, you know, you are if you give up without a fight. I've got no choice. I've known Chris Tate a long time. He's not going to change his mind. Why not? Maybe he needs you just as much as you need him. <sighs> if you think he's going to give me my job back, it's you this stupid, not me. Go and see him. You might get a surprise. There's no point. I just leave her, will you? Suit yourself. I'm gonna have to shoot you tomorrow. Hey, when will I see you? Tonight? Definitely. Promise. What did he want? What are you doing here spying on me? You forgot your lunchbox. I asked you what he wanted. He was talking to me. Okay. What about? It's none of your business. Now, that's where you're wrong, because when I see you talking to a bloke like Kane Dingle, it's very much my business. He's a friend of mine, OK? We have a laugh. I like him. And you think he likes you? He's playing games with you, Ollie. Like the time I found him drinking in our house, he's using you. He treats me like a grown-up, not a kid. Bad news, Ollie. You can't trust him. Believe me. No, that's just it, Mum. I don't believe you. And you know what? I'm going to Blackpool with him next week, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ollie! Ollie! <clears throat> you wanted to see me? Yes, I've got something to say to you. You're not indispensable, Terry. Dogs' bodies like you are ten a penny. Uh, some of them even do as they're told. Well, you brought me up here to tell me that. Oh, one more thing. I want you to know that if you ever so much as question anything I ask you to do again, you're finished. Do you understand? You saying I've got my job back? I thought about it. I took a second opinion. Perhaps I was a little hasty. I'm prepared to give you another chance. But I do expect 100% loyalty. You'll get it. Thanks. You can start by bringing Charity here for 6.30. Zoe's taking Joseph over to sleep at her friend's. OK? Yeah? Boss? Sergeant Reynolds. Twice in one day. I'll go to bed a happy man tonight. I'm not in the mood for your twisted sense of humour. I meant every word. I've come to tell you to leave Ollie alone or else. What do you mean, leave her alone? Well, she seems to think you're going to Blackpool with her. I'm not forcing her to go. You can forget it, right? I'm just being friendly. I thought women like that kind of treatment. She's not a woman, she's a kid. Has she complained about me? You know very well she hasn't. She's too young to realise what you're really like. I think that's a little harsh, Sergeant. I shouldn't judge folks by their appearances. I've got a lot of very attractive qualities. And I bet you have an all under that uniform. Watch your mouth. I can't do right for doing wrong, me, can I? I'm nice to your daughter, I'm nice to you. And that's how you talk to me. You're not interested in Ollie. You only hang round with her to get at me because you know how I feel about it, don't you? You must think I'm dead clever, knowing how you feel and that. Keep away from her, right? I've proved at the Wolfpack that there is a market round here for quality food, and I, I want to I take that a step further. I've costed it and everything, like you told me to. Do you want me to read this or not? Well? Now, let me get this straight. You want to open your own restaurant, bistro style? We'd serve drinks, coffees through the day, light lunches, and then it'd be that special dinner experience during the evening. They'll come flocking from miles around. Where? I'm sorry? Where will they come flocking? I take it this restaurant isn't going to be in a tent. <laughs> very good, very good. No, no, no. I thought I'd address the issue of premises once I'd got the financial backing. And who's going to do all the work? There is no... Mention of staffing requirements. I'll work every hour God sends. Well, that's not good enough. So, so I, I don't 
don't get it. I thought you of all people would understand what I'm trying to do. You build something up. Then get your bucket and spade and go to the seaside. I'm sick of bailing out second-rate no-hopers. OK? Thought I might find her here. You can't keep away, can you? I made a mistake earlier. Coming on the heavy hand with you isn't going to stop you seeing Ollie, is it? Nope. And I can't keep my eyes on her 24 hours a day, so... I want to talk it over with you. Try and make you see it from my point of view. You think you can do that, do you? It's worth a try. Pull up a chair? Not in here. In private. Come round to mine about nine tonight. I'll be in on my own. Just the two of us for a nice little cosy chat. Something like that. What'd you say? Depends if we get a better offer. I told you it'd be worth coming to see Chris. Yeah, I weren't very hopeful, to be honest. And he made me grovel, of course. Yeah, but I knew he'd take you back on. Why? Because you told him to. Well, there were no-one else in there pitching for you. I'm impressed. Yeah, well, I don't have many principles, but I always try to help me mates. Well, after what I did, I wasn't sure that you want me to be your friend. Well, as long as you understand, Terry, that's all we'll ever be. Yeah. Yeah, of course I do. And uh, I appreciate what you did for me. Well, let's say no more about it, eh? What are you doing here, Terry? I said you could have the rest of the night off. Uh, just go in. See ya. Do you know, you're just a big softie, really, aren't you? Do you mind? I have an image to protect. Yeah, but you let him have his job back. Where would I find another mug like Terry? And that was the only reason, was it? Why else would I have done it? Well, because you like me to tell you what to do from time to time, don't you? I think you're confusing business and pleasure. Well, no wonder I'm both, aren't I? I need a driver, that's all there is to it. And I think Terry's wasted enough of my time these past few days. I'd quite like to move on. Fine by me. And since I missed out before, I thought we could try that restaurant again. How about tomorrow? No. Well, why not? It was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it were OK, but um, I can't act posh twice in one week. I'd rather do something a bit different. Such as? Leave it to me. I'll surprise you. Bring you through to the lounge. Kettle's nearly boiled. It'll only be a minute. Well, my programme starts at nine. I'll get it. You make the coffee. You better come in. Well, I'm listening. We need to get a few things sorted so we know where each other stands. Go on. I know why you've got a grudge against me. I've heard all this before. Of course. If you're genuinely fond of her, then that's a different matter. You are? Hmm. I suppose I'll have to come to terms with it. Who do you think I am? A cradle snatcher? She's a stupid little kid. I couldn't give a toss about her. So, you finally admit it. I thought you really liked me. I hate you. Get out. I need to go to her. You play dirty, don't you? When I have to. Me and all. And when there's something I really want, I'll do anything to get it. And I don't mean her. I told you to get out. You want me to come upstairs with you? Move it. Another time, eh? Did you get any sleep? No. Been thinking about everything that Cain said. You invited him round here on purpose, didn't you? Made sure I could hear what he said. 
You know that saying about being cruel to be kind? You must think I'm right, stupid. No, I don't. It's nice to feel wanted by someone, and it's even more flattering when it's an older bloke. Why does it hate you so much? Because of the uniform and the enemy. And because he's got nothing better to do with his time. Will he stop now? Yeah. He won't bother you again. I promise. Right. You know what day it is tomorrow, don't you? It'll only be our Mandy and Paddy's first wedding anniversary. Uh, is that a year ago? <laughs> that was some wedding, even by dingo standards. Hey, remember how much run all them fields in a frock? <laughs> <laughs> It'll bring back a lot of painful memories. Ah, it will. I shouldn't think Paddy expected it to turn out like this. He's not going to think about it, is he? Not now our Mandy's bogged off. You're wrong, Kane. He'll go over every minute of his wedding day, time and time again. Maybe we could ask him round for a meal tonight, take his mind off things. It's a good mm. idea. I'll help. Me too. Uh, I I'll do a pudding. Oh. You can't crack an egg. Yes, I can. You have a go, Sam, lad. But we don't mention Mandy or what day it is tomorrow. Yeah? You can count me out. He'll end up crying into his custody's that pathetic. You might fall in love yourself one day and then you'll know what Paddy's going through. I'll never let a woman do that to me. If they think you're weak, they'll treat you like muck. Is this it? Yeah, cracky little pub. Looks like the sort of place where your elbows stick to the table. Oh, stop moaning. At least the menu's written in English, not like the other night. I suppose mushy peas doesn't translate into French too well. Shall I go and get them in? Uh, just a minute, Terry. You're not going anywhere. Well, I'll sit in a separate table with you. One of you two want to be on your own. You only got your job back yesterday. As far as I'm concerned, you're still on trial. Send you out a packet of crisps and a can of pop. A lolly this morning, Sergeant. How do you think she was? She was really upset. I hope you're very proud of yourself. Hey, don't blame me. You set me up. Yeah. And I'm not proud of what I did, but she'll get over it. And if it means it stops you hanging around with her, then I reckon it was worth it. You don't get rid of me that easily. Do you want me to do you for harassment? You know what I want. Don't you remember what I said last night? I've had enough, Kane. OK? I'm sick of you and your stupid games. I want you to keep away from me and my family, understand? That's just it, you see. I can't. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, get it? You look dead sexy when you get mad. I'm warning you. What are you going to do, Ange? Get physical. Assault me. You're not worth it. It's not over. It's only just begun. So, did you enjoy that, then? Ooh, I've eaten worse. Hey, I see. So you <coughs> want to try slumming it more often? What do you think I am, some sort of bird in a gilded cage? Yeah, but you don't come to places like this very often, do you? I have a position to make, Dad. <laughs> Give over. You love it. Sitting up there in home farm, loading over peasants. No, yeah. It's a bundle of laughs at home. I have a neurotic sister with a bit of rough. At work, I have Sean, who makes the other adult man look cutting edge. And then you've got all that money. It must be terrible. I don't deny it has its compensations, but you know what they say about money? It's got you one or two things, hasn't it? Which is why I don't intend to throw it away. But isn't that where we came in? What, me thinking you like a budgie? Do you mind? What? I like budgies. We had one when I were a kid. We used to let it out after tea and fly around the room. A bit like me bringing you here. Well, I think that is enough philosophy for one day. Why don't you do something useful? Get us another drink. Don't you have to get back? No. Don't tell me he's still not back yet. No. We need a decision on those new trucks. We could lose the contract without them. I'll try his mobile again. Mm. Oh, sorry. Hello? Where the hell are you? You should have been here an hour ago. 
Oh, I'm sorry, things are rather delicate at this end. I'm not going to be able to make the meeting. Well, you could have called us to let us know. I'm sorry, but my lunch companion needed my full attention. It's tricky. Sean needs the go-ahead to order the new lorries. Oh, um, bear with me. Little question for you. Tate Haulage is on the app. We're looking to expand buying two more lorries. If we get them, we can bid for a new contract. And you're asking me? Well, you chose this place, didn't you? Go on. Is it going to make you a lot of money, this new contract? It could do, but there's always an element of risk. Oh, what the hell? Go for it. It's only money. Yeah, Zoe. On balance, I think we should go ahead. So tell Sean to get on with it. OK? Bye. Hello? Uh, is it OK if, if Donna stays? Um, she's very mum. She, she doesn't mind. Yeah, of course. Let me just have a cup of tea and get changed first, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no rush. Is it Donna? No. <clears throat> Mum, is there if I can do a help? What? Can I help? Yeah, why don't you make the tea? I'll go and get changed. All right. Can't complain. You? Pretty good, actually. Can I buy a drink? Yeah, go on then. I'll have another pint. Well then, pint is. See? Sorry? See? You like me really. What makes you say that? Why else would you buy me a drink? <laughs> You'd be amazed to have spent a couple of quid on in my time, Kane. Have a good time last night then, did you? Yeah. It's a nice evening. I saw you looking in. I was just passing. Let me to scare you. You didn't. Good. Because that's the last thing I want. See you later. That's if you're not out somewhere. Well, that's for me to know, innit? Hey, but don't wait up. Did I say I was going on? safely assume it is. Hey, Diane, you forgot to pay your electricity bill. <laughs> go get some candles. Important. Kane, you outside. Don't think so. Do as I say. Tell me what it's about and I'll think about it. I should nick you now. What for? Theft, breaking and entering, handling stolen property. Mm. No, I'm still not with you. Tara's watching my bread bin. In your bread bin? Well. That is an original place to be hiding stolen property, isn't it, Sergeant? I mean, it's not as if there's any sign of a breaking, is there? And, uh, whose prints are on that watch? Yours? You're going the right way to finding out the true meaning of police brutality. I look forward to that. This isn't as funny as you seem to think it is. Yeah, you're right. You have got a bit of a problem, haven't you? <laughs> What I normally do with stolen property, I mean, if it's still up, like, I ain't got a fence around, is dump it, stick it in the bin, chuck it in the river. I promise, I won't say out. You think you're so clever. And that's because I am so clever. Is there anything else, officer? Yeah, there will be. Are you... 
Will you put a sock in it? Watch my wrist. Do I really want to know about this? Well, them cans. Fed them to pigs in the end. Or an hour and a half with tin opening. Does your wrist in, I'm telling you. We'll get that. Who wants him? I want him to search his premises. Well, it's not here. What's not here? Nothing, Sam. I think the three of us need to have a little chat. Fire away. Down the station. What? I ain't done now. You are Sam Dingle. Maybe. Sam Dingle, Kane Dingle, you're wanted for questioning in connection with an armed robbery in Hutton on Wednesday the 25th of October. Armed robbery? You what? And if you're thinking of trying something stupid, I'll tell you we've got another two men out the back, so you won't get very far. Ken? This is rubbish. So are you coming? Or do we have to stay? We don't have to go anywhere. I have no alternative but to arrest you. Kane Dingo, I'm arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? What about you, son? Come on. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think you do. The first I knew about any armed robbery was when your bunch of gorillas started turning me uncle's house over. Let's see if we can jog your memory then. The mini market on Lyle Street, Wednesday afternoon about 2.35. Don't even know where that is. So where were you? The suspect declined to answer. Look, I've told you. I'm not from round here. I don't know where I was. Walking round somewhere. So you were in Houghton? I suppose. Anyone with you? Sam. How long since he came out of this? Six months. History of violence. <laughs> Sam doesn't do armed robberies. But you do. Get lost. He seems pretty up tight to me. You don't want to believe anything he says. Unless, of course, you want to start talking. In which case, you might just save him from a... How shall I put it? An upsetting experience. This is such a joke. You haven't even found anything in the house, have you? You haven't got any evidence. You're just piddling in the wind. I could do you for false arrest. One of our officers saw you at the back of Lyle Street at 2.25pm. That's ten minutes before the robbery. Well, they need their eyes testing, don't they? Cos it weren't me. I don't think so. She's got 20-20 vision. If she says she saw you, then she saw you. She? One of our officers. <laughs> so something funny here? No. Just something I read in the Beano. Go on, on your way. Loser. Hey, Dingo! What? I'd watch your mouth if I were you. It's only a matter of time before you're back in here again. You don't want to be making an enemy of me. You really don't. Come on, Sam. Move it. What do you know about it? Well, it gets around. Pull a stunt like that again and I'll kill you. Oh, come on, Kay. You're not telling me that's the first time you've been pulled in for a bit of rough questioning. And Sam? What about him? What about him? Might be a useless divad. He never deserved what happened to him today. Good. Well, if you care so much about your cousin, Maybe next time you'll be a bit more choosy about who you mess around with in the future. Because believe me, Kane, what happened today? That's just for starters. Fine. If that's the way you want it, just remember one thing. This is between me and you. OK? It's bit early in the day for drinking, isn't it? Well, pubs are open, so it must be legal. I'm surprised you can afford beer. Yeah, but you're easily surprised, aren't you? Where does your money come from, then? Officer. Please. Can't reveal my sources. So, 
If I asked you where you were at 4.30 this morning, you'd say you were safely tucked up in bed. Sure. If that's where you like to imagine me. And not trespassing on Donald Elwood's land. Oh, never heard of the block. There's been a spate of farm thefts over the past few days. Right. Well, I forget wind of any uh, stolen sheep. And we're the first to know. Is that a fact? I like to be a service. I'm warning you, Kane. I've got my eye on you. Yeah. I've noticed. You've been stood up. What? Well, no offence, you just look like you're waiting for someone. Well, I'm a nori. I'll have another one of them. It's coming up. Where are you up to? You're offering me a ride? I asked you a question. Here we go again. You know, for the amount of money us taxpayers pay you, you really ought to find better things to do with your time. And when was the last time you paid tax? Just been for a few bevs. Now I'm taking a stroll, minding my own business. We both know what business you're in. Look, I've told you, I know now about any burglaries. I'll tell you what, if it makes you happy, you can search me. In your own time. Come on, Sergeant, do your job. You're a gentle to Shut up! Satisfied? You can go now. You know, one of these days, you're going to find what you were looking for. All right. What do you want? How's tricks? What? Well, I ain't seen you all day. You usually pull me up half a dozen times by now. Mind you, I don't normally have an audience when that happens, do we? Go away, Kane. Don't you want me to help with your inquiries? No, not today, thank you. Ooh, you're an hard woman to please, you are. Go away. You're the boss. By the way, expect a call about ten tonight, OK? What? Laters. Patrol 20 units in the area. Reports of intruders on the premises of Dunsford Farm. Over. 13.04 here. I'll take that. Over. Where are you, 13.04? Over. I'm on my way over. I'm going. What? Sean, you can't leave. Watch me. But we're having such fun. You might be. Oh, don't worry about Brendan. He's harmless. Why am I the only bloke here in a penguin suit? Ah, oh, I'm afraid I've got a confession to make. This isn't actually a formal dinner party. What? But I just can't resist a man in a dinner jacket. Are you really very cross with me? What do you think? Well, then stay. We can discuss it later. When am I going to get the grand tour? Oh, Brendan, you know every nook and cranny of this place. But I have a terrible memory. I'm sure Sean will excuse us for a few moments. Uh, no, I haven't forgotten what happened last time you got me on my own. Oh, well, now I was fearfully drunk that night. Mm. Huh. Talking of which... Oh, dear. I'm not going to regret this. Sean? No, Tom. Oh, come on now. You don't want to get left behind. Everybody, a toast to celebrate our business alliance. To old friends. Old friends. Old friends. Old friends.
1304 here. I'm at the property on Dunsford Farm. No sign of any breaking. Probably just some kids messing around. Cancel back up. Are you sure, Angie? Yeah, I'll be fine. Who's there? What kept you? <laughs> well, uh, it's been a pleasure. No, it hasn't. You know, I get the feeling you don't like me. You really fancy yourself, don't you? Now that's all. That's just what Tara's been saying about you. <laughs> Do you really have to go so soon? Oh, I'm not one to overstay my welcome. It's always a joy to see you. Uh, and you. Now, look, the next time, I want you on your own. None of these other things. Oh, I know. You do. <laughs> you on, never man. stop trying. Oh, sorry, Ella. It's been a lovely evening. Thanks very much, Robert. <laughs> and I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, yeah? take care. Mom, boys, Drive carefully. <sighs> That was jolly. Was it? Tell me, why did you bother inviting me to stay if you were just going to ignore me all night? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were jealous. <laughs> jealous? Don't flatter yourself. I love it when you're angry. You know what you need, don't you? I think we both know that. Nothing's been taken. Mind you. I would say that, wouldn't I? Perhaps you'd better search me again. Get out, Kane. That's not what you want. This has gone far enough, Kane. I'm on duty. I've got a job to do. Patrol to 1304. What a waste. Report a disturbance at the Lilo Cotton. Assistance to 1304. Are you receiving? 1304 here. I'm on my way. Oh, hi. I thought you were going to come and wake me up. I tried, but uh, you were dead to the world. Mm-hmm. Whole week of lions. Why don't you come and bring me up a cup of tea? I'm sorry, love. I've, uh, I've got too much to do this morning. What? Nothing that can't wait half an hour. Look, I am dressed. I've had a shower. I've got to go. Well, I thought the whole point of me taking a week off was so that we could spend some time together. I know, and I will. Just not now. I think we should have gone and sat with them, do you? You must be joking. See enough of them at work. Do you mind if we join you? Seems silly, us being over there when we could all be together. I was just saying the same thing. <laughs> Sit down. Regina and I have been talking about your husband. <laughs> really? Mm. The stud farm just wouldn't operate without him. I'll go to his head, you know. No, really. Pretends he doesn't know anything about the business, but he keeps us honest. He's always been a fast learner. Mm, I say. We ought to be getting off. I haven't finished my drink yet. Well, you really are very lucky, Angie. Oh, may I call you that? Not many men put in as much effort as Sean or are half as enthusiastic about their work. Mm. So he keeps telling me.
Come on. Yeah, I'm ready now. Lovely to see you. And you. Bye. Take care. Hello, officer. I'm off duty, which officially means I don't have to waste my time on people like you. Unless you want to. Push off. Have a nice day. Yes, Ken. Pint, please, Diane. When is that? What? Finishing a pint. Get your own. What were your pension and your porch? You got more money than me. You ain't got Betty to look after. He's one of them blokes. Never bought a drink in his life. And then when they die, you find half a million quid stuffed under his mattress. <laughs> if I'd half a million, I'd be other side of this bar with doors locked. And then, I'm going to leave it all to the dog's home. <laughs> there you go. And what will it be in my birthday and all? Is it? Well, it is tomorrow. Might get you one tomorrow, then. But uh, don't hold your breath. Actually, you can make mine a double. I think I'm building a bit of a thirst. Good for you. Large gin tea, please, Tisha. All right, ladies. You got any plans for later on? Yeah, and you don't figure in them. You were lost. And you're going to get Seth one. It's his birthday tomorrow. Is it? And why didn't you say? Another pint and a sherry for Betty. I thought you were going to keep quiet about that this year. This young fella dragged it out of me. Oh, I am. Betty did. Keep me seat warm for me. <laughs> it's your 75th and all. No, Seth, really. Don't look a day over 74. There you go. Uh, much obliged. Happy birthday, Seth. Hey, what's this about a tree? Terry wants to say what it was. That's because he doesn't know. Have a look. What are these? I had them sent round. I thought you might like to try them on. They are very exclusive and very expensive. Get lost. Well, what's the matter? I choose my own clothes, thanks very much. And if you don't like the way I look, well, you know what you can do. Well, I have absolutely no problem with the way you look. I'd have thought that was obvious. Then why do you want to change me? Make me look like some posh bird with a silver spoon in a gob. I don't. That you're a beautiful girl, I thought you might like to wear some beautiful dresses. But if you're not happy, then I'll get Terry to take them away. What, so you just want me to try them on? Give you your own private fashion show? Well, I thought it might be quite an enjoyable experience for both of us. And if you like any of them, you can keep them. I suppose I've done worse things for my money. Go on. Amuse me. So what do you reckon? Do I look like one of those uh, supermodels? Is that what you feel like? Do you know, I don't know how they manage to walk. They wiggle the rips that much, I'm surprised they don't fall over. I think it suits you. Do you want to keep it? I don't know. It's not as if I could wear it in Woolpack, is it? Well, I'll take you somewhere to show it off. In the meantime, you can wear it just for me. You'll find me a very appreciative audience. OK, I'll keep it. It's gorgeous. Ta. I think it's time I took this off now, don't you? Hmm. I don't see why not. Damn. What? Well, outside a car, didn't you hear? It must be Zoe. Well, what am I going to do? We have to get out. Out. Through the front door. No, through the stud office and take that lot with you. Just go! Now, hurry up! long you get thrown out for fighting we would have done if we'd stayed there much longer mm. perhaps you need some time on your own yeah I think we do I'll leave you to it then oh if you do start smashing things up make sure it's the cheap stuff <laughs> You're a bit underdressed for a moonlight walk, aren't you? Terry, don't do that. You frighten me to death. Or is this some kind of kinky version of hide and seek? No jokes, Terry. I'm not in the mood. Do you want me to get your blanket? I need my clothes. They're in the living room. Yeah, and so Zoe. You might have a long wait. What am I going to do? I can't go to Uncle Zach's dressed like this, can I? 
No, if he finds out what you've been up to, you'll be uh, keeping it pigsty. Oh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, oh, a bit. But just to prove that I'm not a total sadist, you can keep it my place tonight. And tomorrow I'll come and get your clothes. Oh, Terry, you're a star. Yeah, well, you got me my job back. This makes us evens. I'll go and get the car. Right. I suppose it was inevitable that we'd split up one day. We're just too different. Yes, well, I'm, I'm sure you've made the right decision. So am I. But now that it's happened, I feel, I don't know, a sense of loss. Well, that's only natural. Why don't you have another drink? You'll feel better. No, not for me. You go ahead. You know, don't you, that if there's anything I can ever do... Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm very lucky having you and Joseph. You're my family. Absolutely. Morning, Terry. Uh, morning. Oh, cheers. Yeah, whoa. What? Ah, uh, right. Them cups of tea aren't for us, are they? Uh, thing is, uh, somebody stayed over. What? Upstairs? Three cups? Now, don't jump to conclusions, Marlon. She could be very thirsty. Oh, look, um, I might as well explain. Hi, boys. Ah, disappointing. Thank you very much. Hiya. Ah. Not so disappointing. In fact, suddenly it's got very interesting again in a mind-boggling kind of way. I oh, were on sofa. Yeah, yeah. I don't... I don't see any bed clothes. I put them away. He's really house-proud, aren't you, Terry? Yeah, we really admire the care Terry takes over his bed linen, don't we, Frankie? Oh, we do, we do. Please, look, there's a, there's a very simple explanation. We're all ears, aren't we, Marlon? Charity, we all know I'm here because I've left Zoe. But what about you? Why are you here, really? Oh, you don't want to know. Cos I do. Come on, I think you're with me now. I'll tell you sometime, I promise. Well, all I can say is if you got Terry watching your back, you'll be all right. Yeah. Right. Suppose I'd better get off to work. Now I'm a single girl. Oh, you serious then? You're not going to try and patch it up with Zoe? No fear. We are in a relationship, not really. Them tits are all the same. If you're not part of family, you're just like a pet or a fashion accessory or something. Mystery is, why did I hang around so long? Anyway, I'm looking forward to having a bit of a laugh with the lads now. That's if I can stop here for a while. <laughs> 